Matt Brown from the band Dead Parade in Matt Brown's Guitar Studio in Chicago. I uh, thought I'd show you a real easy one for maybe some beginners that are uh, new to playing bass or new to playing with your fingers. So this is another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd, part two. Uh, so this one we're going to be playing in drop D tuning. You could play this on a five string bass, you know, with standard tuning if you wanted, but I'm um, pretty sure he's playing this in drop D. So this song's really simple. The verse part, the you know, the we, we don't need no education part, we're gonna have two full bars of rest, we're in 4-4 four, four time, and then we're just gonna come in with a low D note here and hold that for a full measure and then three beats into the next measure. And then we've got two more bars of rest. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is just play your low open D note. Um, then the main bass measure comes in and we're gonna play that four times and it's a two bar phrase. The slow enough that you can play it with just one finger so I'm just doing it with my index finger. Anyway what we're doing is we have a low D on our first beat, we're gonna do an eighth note rest, then we have that's a C to a D, third fret to fifth fret, we're gonna do a staccato D note and a rest. And then the second measure is this. So that's five, five open three. Got an eighth note rest on beat two there. So real slowly. And then back up to tempo. Alright, so that happens four times, like I said. The guitar next is going to go to a G chord for uh, four bars, and so I'll play exactly what we have for those four bars. We have this. Alright, so real simple. Uh, we're playing uh, the first two measures, we have a dotted uh, half note, so we're, we're playing for three beats. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. And then the next measures we're playing on just beats one and three. So one, rest, three, rest. Uh, the next measure we're playing on all four beats, we're playing staccato. One, two, three, four. And then um, what he does is he slides up on the last G. One, two, three. And then we have a little transitional part that's going to lead us to the chorus. That's what I just played there. So that's this. All right, so uh, we're doing D, C, D, and then we're going to come up to fifth position here. D, D, A, G. So that's um, five, five, seven, five on your, your low strings there. All right, so let's get into the chorus now. One, two, ready, go. All right, so that's it. Uh, we're coming to an F chord, or the guitar is rather. We're just playing a low F root note at the third fret holding it for a whole note. The next measure we're gonna go to a C. Two, three. So on uh, beat four there, that's 16th notes. I hammer on from three to five, and then we're gonna do this. So you might wanna do the eighth notes alternating there um, or not. All right, so that's it. We're gonna do the kind of the, the riff, and then measure two, five, five, seven, seven, five, and then we're back to the F. One, two, three, four, C. Two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then um, basically we're we're back to a verse. 
you know, after that, so we're going to go back to the real simple part that we had before and, and pretty much repeat everything that I've explained to you. The next time, though, we're going to uh, go into a little lead-in that uh, goes into our guitar solo. So I'll start at the next chorus and show you how that goes to the guitar solo. One, two, ready, go. So these two measures that precede the solo, we're going to go. So that second measure there is D, D, A, A, C. And, and this is going to kind of form our, our, our riff for our guitar solo. So I'll play that for you now. It goes like this. One, two, ready, go. So that is, let's see, that's a total of eight bars that I just played there. That's the first eight bars of the solo. And then after that, he's going to play a repeating part. So I'll show these eight measures to you slowly. They're very similar to what we've had before. So um, just, you know, listen real closely and you'll get it. So one, two, ready, go. So now we have um, uh, four bars that are going to repeat here, and I'll play those for you. All right, so those four bars repeat. Then we have another uh, group of four bars that repeat, so I'll play that for you. One, two, ready, go. So those four bars, play them again. Uh, and now we're pretty much into the home stretch, so I'll play that for you. So these now are the last seven bars that the, the bass plays in this song, and then after that it's just all the samples with the, you know, if you don't eat your meat, you don't get your pudding, and the, I don't know whether it's like a telephone sound or what. So, uh, here we go. So real easy song and you know uh, what I recommend you do is is play this along with the recording because you know with bass playing and playing any instrument but especially bass rhythm and locking in with the, the rhythm section is is the most important thing that you can be doing. So uh, if you would like the tabs for this, this bass line is super easy but um, if you'd like them let me know. I transcribe the guitar stuff too so I can send that to you. Um, and I will be doing a guitar lesson on the, the full version of this song. Um, not, you know, part one, but part two anyway. So uh, I'm Matt Brown from Band Dead Parade and Matt Brown's Guitar Studio. Please uh, check out all my stuff on the web and subscribe and like this video. So thanks a lot and I will see you guys around for some more lessons.